Welcome to another episode of Beer Time. I'm your host, Christian Ettinger. Today we're going to be tasting one of my favorite beers, Abominable Winter Ale. Webster says abominable means wretched or awful, but I disagree. This is our winter ale. Really kind of a deep India red ale inspired by one of my favorite beers, Sierra Nevada Celebration. Get a little head on there. You'll notice as it settles, it's got a deep garnet color. That comes from three different caramel malts and just a touch of black malt. That black malt leaves a nice crisp dry finish. So as I look at it, sniff it, I'm getting the uh, aroma of, of caramel, a hint of roast, and what's really coming out is the hop flavor, or the hop aroma rather, from the Simcoe, Cascade, and Centennial hops. Those hops are really known for citrus, grapefruit, a little earthy. The Simcoe, I think, is really driving this one. And as I take it, sip it, get rid of that mustache. I'm a beard, brewer's beard. You gotta have one, otherwise you're not legit. What you end up with is a really balanced IPA, essentially, or India Red Ale. I really find this beer incredibly refreshing, hearty enough to stand up to the cold and the fire, but uh, refreshing enough to leave me wanting at least three pints of it. So there's one of our favorite brewers, Austin Early, in his Canadian tuxedo. Some quick stats on Abominable Winter Ale. It rings in at 7.3% alcohol, so it has that nice warmth. About 16.7 degrees Play-Doh, dries out nicely. Bringing in at 65 IBUs, go big, go hearty. The color is just insane. And we also spin it in a centrifuge, which allows the yeast to be spun out and the top flavor to pass through. I wanna make sure you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram, subscribe to our channel, and I really appreciate you spending some time with us and uh, pick up some Avon, eh? Cheers. So some people say, why a Yeti? And I say, why not? 